What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wolfie's Let's Play of Metroid Fusion. We just pretty much got started and uh, working on part three now. And in this part, uh, if you recall, at the very end of the, uh, the last part, they basically said we need to go and take care of some atmospheric stabilizers, which are a fancy word for uh, an air conditioning system. And this is actually take two because I'm trying to be fancy right there. <laughs> but yeah, this is take two because that is horrible habit of forgetting to make sure my mic's working. Because that is uh, very difficult to do. And well, basically what you do is shoot missiles at these things. I mean, it's a Metroid game, so everything in this game needs to be fixed by just shooting it with whatever missiles. And it only works with missiles too. Yep, actually. But in this room we'll get our first upgrade for this part, which is a energy tank. Which is a very obvious energy tank to find and just there's a block right there that you have to shoot, but I accidentally shot it while we were while I was fighting those little guys. And we can get our next upgrade pretty quickly too, which is right here. Well, it's actually two rooms over. And this is uh, this is for uh, if you're uh, I don't know, new to Metroid games. This is a little, it's not really tricky, but that right there is just a, uh, I don't even know what it's called, just mid-air morph ball thing, which is just as you're jumping, double tap down. But make sure you're not pushing left or right, or your character just kind of aims down awkwardly. But yeah, uh, next we're gonna have to do some wall jumping, which is just some fancy time and footwork right there, which is just right as you hit the wall. Make sure you're going towards the wall and like kind of like right as you get contact with the wall, push the opposite direction and jump at the same time. It's nothing too tricky. It might be awkward for your first time trying it, but uh, I don't know. With a few like I'm thinking, I'm talking like five attempts, you'll probably be able to get the rhythm down. For that part, you only have to do like four or five in a row in order to get to the uh, missile expansion. I don't really recall if there's any more uh, wall jumps in this game, but sh I wouldn't be surprised if there are. So you can probably count on those still being around. And, I mean, we're pretty much trailing through this part pretty quickly. I mean, we've already got two upgrades, and we're actually about to get our third upgrade, just right across here. We'll get another pretty obvious upgrade, which is a little missile expansion. There's more to this area right now, but we can't really utilize it. Or we can't, yeah, we can't utilize it because we can't really deal with all of it, because there's actually a, another item right below us. But I don't really want to get to it right now, because we don't have the proper suit to deal with that, and I don't feel like... I don't even know if I can actually get to it or not. I, I didn't actually bother to check. But I do know there is an item down there. We'll just skip right over this guy. Move on to the next air conditioning system. Which is just right over here. Apparently take damage from touching that. Oops. There we go. Problem solved. And now we gotta wait for the air to thin out. And we can leave. Move on to the next one, next room. That's one of these little bastards, but we'll just walk right around him and not think anything about it. And what is in here? Okay, looks like we got another air conditioning thingy. Which is right... Right in here. And we will actually already get our, uh... Let me upgrade that. That makes... this will make four. So, yep. Our fourth upgrade. We will only get one more upgrade for, uh, this... Uh, part, which is, uh, I believe, another missile, ugh, missile, missile expansion. Let me drop down here. Well, we're actually almost done with this whole, area, this whole part. Cause, I mean, I, I've already broken this part. I've already decided which parts I'm gonna do, or what I'm gonna do in each part. And we're actually almost done. can't push more than three like buttons at the same time. <laughs> or it's actually only two buttons at the same time, because this emulator is not the best emulator. Well, hopefully that doesn't really come back to bite me, I guess. I actually don't know what's up here. Okay, never mind. That just takes you back up to that save point earlier that uh that uh we got that missile expansion from that we had to do the wall jumps for, so don't worry about that. And to get to move on, we have to actually uh, have to actually blow up these blocks, which is a, like a 
kind of like a normal for Metroid games, just to like just shoot blocks and hope that shoot the blocks that kind of look out of place. Oh, gotta find another eyeball boss guy because we're actually at a boss. This is a pre-recurring pattern, which basically means we are going to be fighting bosses. If you ever see one of these eyeball guys, but luckily they do heal you up and give you full ammunition when you do. Uh, when you do fight those guys, as long as you get the red ones. That's what the red ones do. And we'll fight one of these Chozos who has uh, what appeared to be Morph Ball for a second. Dog barking. And instead of fighting a normal boss that kind of phases into an X Core, we're just going to fight an X Core by itself. Oh, that was not very well timed. Ugh, I'm not doing very hot right now. That's okay. It's not that important. We got plenty of health to work with. To make up for my suckage. And we got our charge beam, which I don't think is even actually required for this area, uh, for this game, but I mean, might as well. It's hard to, you pretty much are forced to walk by it. You can't really pass it up that well. And here, we're actually going to get our last item. Which is another Metroid staple. Obscure blocks that you have to shoot with to find upgrades that are just kind of randomly there that you wouldn't have known about unless you just saw some guy like me do that right there. Oh. But there, there's a get a missile expansion. I don't know why you would think about shooting that wall, but just shoot that wall. You'll see what happens. You'll get a nice little prize. I will say this game does reward you for shooting, like you can shoot obscure objects. As we uh, now finish our, uh, getting our last little uh, stabilizer thingy taken care of, and we can move onward to this little room, shoot a button, get to go to the next room, and that will uh, just head back to the. Uh, actually, is the save room after the navigation room? Okay, we'll go to the save room right before the navigation room. Otherwise, it's probably smarter to uh, to. Uh, leave the navigation room for the next part, because I mean, you might not have any idea what I'm supposed to be doing next, if you didn't watch the part before this, unless I said it, which I just did earlier anyways, but it's a little easier for everyone to not to really worry about remembering what I'm doing next, because I went to the navigation room in the part before, to tell us our brief, though some parts might actually take more time. Some parts may, uh, excuse me. Okay, we can't even open that door. I was actually kind of curious what was in there, because I don't remember. I just remember the path I chose, I marked out for myself to take, and I remember going in that room. Just because you can't go in that room right now. The door is locked. Right now, we can't open any doors that aren't, like, gray. And, yeah, that'll about do it for this part. It's a pretty short one. Not as long as the last one, but of course that one also has a pretty long intro. So, well, I guess I'll save and call it quits for the day, and... Hope you all enjoy, and hope you all enjoy the future of this. So I will see you guys later.